And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of the Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for the brand new episode of Disney Plus's The Mandalorian Season 1, Chapter 4. And I hope everybody had a great holiday. I certainly did. And um, I hope you guys had a safe shopping experience as well if you went out shopping or whatever. So, let's talk about The Mandalorian. If you haven't seen The Mandalorian up to now, big spoilers, so... I apologize, but you should know about it by now. So, the last time we left the Mandalorian, you know, he was pretty much dealing with the fact that he pretty much now knows he has to protect the baby Yoda. Baby Yoda has to be protected. He can't just leave it alone with anybody. He doesn't know who to trust. He he, he has no idea what to do with it. And um, he feels more responsible to protect it from anybody. So he goes into this um, like this planet, pretty much like a farm planet, kind of like another version of Tatooine where people are at peace, people, you know, they farm, they protect their land, but they got their own problems, you know, a bunch of, you know, scavengers come around and, um, you know, they try to take, they kind of like bullies, they pretty much take what they want, they don't care, they wreck the village and they take what they want and um, the villagers are pretty much scared. And they got nothing to do. And they, they got no one to help them. They got no one to help them out. And then the Mandalorian shows up. And then, of course, he ends up meeting another kind of like a ex-military person in Gina Carano's character. Now, this episode, I forgot to mention, was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard, who is the daughter of Ron Howard, who directed, who, well, took over directing duties for Solo. So, there you go. And um, I like this episode a lot. This episode was very good. Um, we got to see Gina Carano's character. I mean, we didn't get too much of her backstory, but just seeing her do her thing, being like a complete badass, and also see how she's getting better as an actor. I remember when first watching Gina Carano in anything, I was like, mm, she's okay. She was great in Fast and Furious when she did that one movie, uh, Fast F Furious 6. She was fine, but other movies, she hasn't been so good. But, you know, if you put her in a capable hands of a good director... Why not? And I never knew Bryce Dallas Howard directed anything. I always assumed she was that actress from all those cool movies like Jurassic World, The Help, you know, movies like that. And, you know, I never really knew. I also didn't even know her father was Ron Howard, so that's bonus right there. But she did a really good job of making this character look really, really cool. I'm pretty sure eventually we'll get the backstory about her, why she's who she is. I mean, they gave us a little brief uh, thing like, she was a par part of the Imperial stuff, so maybe she was that. But we got that a little bit, but maybe we'll get more deeper into why she left. Maybe she got tired of the, res of the Empire and all that, and so maybe we'll get more information. So basically what happens in the episode, they literally help these villagers pretty much stop uh, an AT uh, Imperial walker that, you know, that's been hijacked by these bullies that have been taken over. And they pretty much try to protect the village and have them protect themselves as well while also protecting Baby Yoda. And the Mandalorian, you know, he, he, he feels at peace at that planet. You know, he feels comfortable being there. He meets a woman there who's like the village leader, kind of. It's a very beautiful woman. And uh, she, has a daughter. He has, she has a daughter of her own. And he, very, he feels very comfortable with her. But then there are moments where... He's like, yeah, if I stay here, I could put them in danger. And then, of course, something happens to Baby Yoda. That pretty much guarantees him that he can't stay. He can't stay, so he has to move on. And um, that's pretty much the gist of the episode. I won't tell you what happens, like what really happens to Baby What? why it makes him decide to leave. You have to watch the episode right there. But um, great episode. I thought it was very good. And this show is just awesome. So if you're not watching, you've got to watch it. Especially if you're a Star Wars fan and you've been frustrated with how the movies have been handled. Maybe you don't like Episode 7 and 8. I do, but let's not talk about that right now because we got Episode 9 coming out. And maybe you're not that excited. But this show gets you excited for Star Wars again because it's fun. It's funny. It's got Baby Yoda action. And did I mention Baby Yoda? So, um... You know, give it a shot. And by the way, let's talk about Baby Yoda. See what, what exactly is he? Is he a like a descendant to Yoda? Is he actually Yoda? Maybe Yoda died. Well, Yoda did die in Episode Six. Spoiler alert. And maybe he he's like a phoenix. He just reincarnates and he's a baby again. But now he's fifty years old. So 
who knows? Maybe he'll grow up to be the Yoda we all know and love, but a new body and live longer. But only time will tell. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. And stay tuned for more. Thank you very much and have a good day.